Welcome to the VMware vSphere 6.0 product demonstration. This is the first video in the three-part video series, and in this, we will demonstrate how to vMotion across vSwitch instances. vMotion has been enhanced with three new capabilities that were previously unavailable. Now you can perform a cross vSwitch vMotion, cross vCenter vMotion, and long distance vMotion. Cross vSwitch vMotion is supported between two standard switches, between a standard and distributed switch, and also between two distributed switches. Let's take a scenario where we need to migrate virtual machines from an old cluster to a new cluster. The old cluster uses standard switches, and the new cluster uses distributed switches. We start the demo at the vSphere web client home screen. Here, we have a vCenter instance with two clusters. Cluster 1 uses standard switches, and cluster 2 uses distributed switches. Notice that one of the hosts in cluster 1 has a standard switch assigned to a port group, VLAN 0204 VSS. Here, Linux VM is configured to use the port group assigned on the standard switch. It can be confirmed by looking at the properties of the VM and the distributed switch. Looking at one of the hosts in cluster 2, we can see that the standard switch is not available. In this example, we have to migrate VMs from the old cluster to the new cluster without affecting the services running on the VMs. We now have the ability to change the virtual switch and assign a port group during the vMotion. These clusters share a VMFS data store. Due to this, we will not be moving the virtual storage disks during the demonstration. However, it should be noted that shared storage is not a requirement. If shared storage is not available, an enhanced vMotion will be performed. This is also known as XVMotion, or vMotion without shared storage. To perform a cross vSwitch vMotion using the vSphere web client, we begin by right-clicking on the VM we would like to migrate and choosing Migrate from the context menu. On the next screen, select Change VM Compute Resource Only and click Next. Then choose a compute resource to run the virtual machines. In this case, we select HQ Cluster 2 and click Next. Select the destination network for the VM. This will attach the VM to the port group on the distributed switch in the destination vSwitch server. Choose the destination network from the drop-down menu, which in this case is VLAN 0204, and then click Next. Select Schedule vMotion with high priority, and then click Next. At the summary screen, verify if the information is correct, and click Finish to start the migration. The vMotion will then continue. You can monitor the progress in the Recent Tasks column. The process is complete. Notice that the VM is now connected to the port group that is assigned to the distributed switch. Note that L2 connectivity needs to exist between the standard switch and the distributed switch because no changes will be made to the virtual machine network configuration with a guest OS. This concludes the demonstration on how to perform a cross vSwitch vMotion. Thank you.